Welcome back, YouTube. It's time to get me here. I don't know why it's next to West. And today I'm playing Tales from the Borderlands Episode 4 Escape Plan Bravo. And I hope you enjoy. The darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Okay. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. Got it. The Gortis Robot. Yep. Searching for the robot's missing components gave the former middle manager the chance to quietly reach an accord with the demented ghost of Hyperion past. Killing, and the dream of the vault seemed closer than ever. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare. And this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the Borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take revenge, I made a vow. the con artist intervened. That was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie. And their first job was likely to be their last. We should find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This Endless march down memory lane. It's gotta be some sort of payback. Payback? You think? Look, there's a long list of people we've only just recently pissed off. I'm sure it's one of those assholes looking for revenge. Yeah, that is a pretty long list. <sighs> I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose it. Yes, I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? <sighs> I seriously doubt that. Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. <laughs> I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, <laughs> zigzag when you run, okay? It uh, makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid, it's... It's genius. All right, going on three. One. Two. Three, go! again. Clearly, I can't trust you two, so you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. <laughs> hey! 
Stop it, please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with him. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Don't trust her, Gordas. Oh, don't listen to her. She's just being sore. Besides, if you don't tell me, I have to start hurting people again. And you don't want that, do you? No! Now... Tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the Vault and hold it here. Then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... you're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <sighs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. You hurt anyone. That's what. Leave her alone! That didn't need to happen. She had nothing to do with this. She was keeping me from getting to you. So she had everything to do with this. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. You don't buy any of this bullshit, Fiona. What's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, for starters... You get to live. Things like this will stop happening. Does that work for you? Or do you think we should negotiate more? Hey! What's it gonna be, Fiona? Don't give in. I I'm fine. Hey, you said you wouldn't hurt anyone! Yeah, okay. Yes, okay, we'll work for you. But we get a cut. Oh, mm. that ain't a good idea. You're seriously asking for a cut? While I have a knife in your sister? Clearly, I should phrase that differently. We'll discuss terms when you get back. Okay. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, You shouldn't have given in. Shut up. What the hell is wrong with you two? We've got principles. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't by. Do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, this isn't the first okay, time we've had to get killed. Okay, okay, come on. We'll find a Look, rocket. I know what we have to do. Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordis's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. 
If you'd stop being so negative, maybe we could How's make your tum-tum there, buddy? That'll one. teach you to hit the I taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. Wow, you we'll got the magic, kid. The they should there bottle the so stuff. Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill down Actually, on every yeah, I could aspect use your help. of the mission. Yeah, so of course you could. I'm not the one Is that a yes or no? What, you think old Jack would leave his meat buddy hanging? Great, real helpful. Honestly, don't reality. know how to answer that. That's all I'm saying. So listen, I hate to be the bearer of good news here, now but if there's one thing you know about me, here. it's that I'm a collector of my rival's top secret projects. That's why I'm gonna share this go. juicy little tidbit with you. No, we can't do that. Now, once upon a time, right. a few What's of my guys solution, bought, then? yeah, borrowed an Atlas shipment that contained parts for one of their top secret projects. You got the beacon. And about a zillion other Atlas gizmos, too. That's the best tech in town right there. Especially their freaking guns. Oh, man. I got I got this one with a fist attachment. So you can literally punch someone in the face before you shoot them. Get what I'm saying is this. I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Uh, I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do! See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reed the location data now. Well, let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. Man, how many people you... I get that you're scared. Hey, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork, that's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh, it's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay, now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him any time. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. And then it's off to Helios. Come on! Before we dock, I'll tell a vet we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. That'll work. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. And for the grand finale... Oh, Digistruct of Vasquez. 
But Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So, I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell him, Princess! He'll sabotage the whole freaking mission! It just... came out of nowhere. Don't do it! You'll only make things way worse. Okay, team, um... Prepare to have your minds blown. <laughs> Handsome Jack is in my head. God, for... Damn it! Did you just, just allow me to explain? Okay. When I plugged Nakayama's ID drive into my head port, I kind of accidentally uploaded an AI version of Jack into my brain. But, but it's cool. It's cool. I've, I've got everything under control. <laughs> kind of. What? You had that murdering son of a bitch in your head all this time and you didn't tell us? You asshole. And we thought August was a pro. <laughs> okay. If Jack's really in there, I want to talk to him. You know, just give him a piece of my mind. Yeah, that's not happening. But he'll only talk to me. Oh, how convenient. Well, that went over well. Even your oddly ripped moron sidekick took it better. Anyway, you know how it goes. Snitches get stitches. I just made that up. It's clever. So, when you slapped my ass back there, that was Jack? And here I thought of you as a friend. I'm not one to say I told you so, but, uh, <coughs> I told you so. Oh, good times, huh? Have fun cleaning up your mess! I'm sorry, all right? I should have mentioned it earlier. Yeah, you think? What is wrong with you? I get it. I messed up. Let's just... Say, for argument's sake, that you didn't mean to be a lying scumbag, and that you understand that you should have shared what is an incredibly vital piece of information. So far, so good. I guess. Even if we could somehow trust you again... How can we trust Jack? No more lies. You need to level with us from here on out. Look, say what you will about Jack, but you gotta admit, he saved our asses back at that Atlas facility. Even if what you're saying is true, that doesn't mean we can trust him. Trust who? Alright, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. At least I was honest. August. Watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan? Oh, Scooter's a solid guy. He's not gonna hold a tiny little con against us. I guess he does seem to like us. Yeah, maybe. It's my two favorite gals. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or... Oh, shoot. Scooter! Great to see you. Just an absolute pleasure. Every time I get to see your face, just... Mm. Go on! <laughs> nah, you don't have to go on. I know my face is about as appealing as a dead dog somebody whacked a few times with a tire iron until it popped. But anyway, it's great to see you! What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing, no, it's, uh, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't, either. Scooter, we are going to space. What? I love space! It's like my fourth favorite thing, behind tacos, trucks, and heavy eye contact. 
That all sounds great! Only problem is funding? No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it! Oh, wait, when I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two? Cause look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Oh, no. And we're out of time, but I'll see you guys next episode.